Hi everyone, Jessica Paquette joined here with a familiar face to racing fans, Crystal Conning, a new addition to the Jockey Colony here at Parks. Now you may know Crystal from the broadcast at Monmouth Park, at Oaklawn Park, a rising star in the broadcasting world of horse racing and also on the race track. Now Crystal, welcome to Parks. What made you want to ride full time here this winter? I was just kind of not fully ready to commit, I think, to being on the bench when I sort of took the plunge into doing the media. Um, at the time, uh, last w last summer when I took the job at Monmouth, it just kind of made a lot of sense for me um, at the time. But having sort of spent nearly a year and a half in the paddock and not on the horses, I just, I just couldn't let it go. Um, I think foremost, I am a rider, not so much a media person. Um, so I just couldn't get the that itch gone, you know, to get back in the saddle. And I rode a little bit this summer at Delaware and um, that really big time reignited the fire. So I couldn't think, I just couldn't get my head around not doing it one more time, having another shot, you know? Well, tell me about your early riding career in Australia. You were a very, very accomplished eventer and that takes some bravery and some finesse. Yeah, I was very fortunate. Um, I got this amazing little thoroughbred off the track. He was just, just over 15 hands. Uh, I got him when I was 13 and uh, he went all the way through the levels with me to five star. We were lucky enough to ride on a couple of Australian teams. Um, and that I think really solidified my love for the thoroughbred, especially having that guy. Um, I had a few that came up underneath him, but just the tenacity of a thoroughbred is, they're just different. You know, I had warm bloods and other breeds, but he was just, an incredible ambassador for the, for the breed. He was just a phenomenal athlete. Um, and my family, I come from a racing background. I didn't personally get to the racetrack till I was a little older, but both of my grandfathers trained, my mother galloped, stuff like that. So the races was always on the TV and it was always sort of in the back of my mind. Um, but I think that little horse really sort of has got the wheels turning in my head for sure. So your background in show horses, how does that help make you a better jockey? I think it sort of gave me a bit of a different feel, maybe to some of these guys that grew up just on racehorses. Um, I think that I can be pretty sort of in tune, especially with like a hot filly. I love a little chestnut filly that needs a sort of soft set of hands. Um, and also just things from like the dressage, like you know yourself being an equestrian, um, just things about straightness and little tricks that you learn to make horses travel better and things like that. I think that it really helps for sure. And, and definitely just the horsemanship aspect of it, you know, having been on the ground with the animals so much as well. So tell me what's your favorite kind of horse to ride? We know spicy, chestnut filly, but do you like a closer? Do you like a horse with speed? What's your favorite kind of move? Um, I think the dirt racing, obviously you do tend to enjoy riding a speed horse. Um, but I think I did ride in Australia a little bit, which is obviously all turf um, racing. I do love to ride a deep closer. It is a lot of fun, especially sort of when you get to the three eights pole and they come up on the bridle and, and you know that you're going to be having a heck of a finish. But um, I think definitely in the dirt and the way the American racing goes, it, there is no better feeling than getting on a true speed horse that just leaves from the gate and you can just sit up there and just sit chilly to push the button for sure. Now let's go backwards a little bit to your time in the media. Were there times where you were watching a race wishing you were out there riding or did your, your time as a jockey impact the kind of questions you asked as a reporter? Yeah, for sure. I think when I was interviewing riders after races, there's maybe uh, maybe things that I can see happen in a race that perhaps, you know, someone that hasn't ridden. Um, so I definitely think that that helped me a lot. Uh, I would be lying if I didn't say pretty much every race I'd wished I was out there. <laughs> Especially, you know, watching those really good horses, you're like, oh, that must just feel so good. And it's, uh, it's, it was tough being on the ground for sure. Um, I think there was maybe only one day at Oaklawn last winter when it was about 33 degrees and raining sideways for the day that I was like, mm, maybe I'll stay in the paddock today. <laughs> but um, yeah, pretty much every race, every day, I was, I was wishing I was out there for sure. Well, you're certainly going to enjoy winter in the Northeast here at Parks. Rain, snow, or sleet, we do usually find a way to persevere. But we're thrilled to have you here. This is Crystal Conning, a rising star, both frontside and backside in horse racing. Looking forward to seeing you in the winter circle here at Parks.